everybody what a great day to be alive and not have corona i uh i'm going to play my league run right now and as you can see it's already set up the way i like it um and i am playing jacqueline i have a pretty basic uh drawing deck uh a chaos token deck i mean I, I have Scrying Mirror, Prescient, uh, Dark Prophecy. I do not have Olive, I do have Renfield. Uh, and that is because I have not tested Olive yet. Um, and I wanna play this as safe as possible because it's my first time. Uh, this is my signature card, my weakness, and I decided to get the 30th Vision um, because I feel like I can uh, get rid of it pretty easily and deal with it pretty easily. So this still needs to go in my deck, as you can see. Uh, I need to figure out, because I don't usually use TTS. Even in my test runs, I use the physical. So I'm a bit clumsy when it comes to um, TTS. Uh, I have here one extra token to signal that I've used my ability. It's nice for myself. And... Because of the scenario, here as you can see, the Mystics can search for a Mystic card and play it, paying its cost, of course. Fun fact, Jacqueline, uh, if you're playing multiplayer, Jacqueline is one of the only ones that has, like, uh, her signature card is also a Mystic card, as you can see. So if you're playing multiplayer, you could play that, it's really good. But I am playing solo, so obviously I will be taking out six cents and pay for it. I'm gonna shuffle this and then I will mulligan. That is a great start to Ezra Flames. I have a crystal pendulum. Uh, let's see. I kind of hoped for a scrying mirror because uh, it's, it's just great on Jacqueline, especially because in the second location we're going to spawn to uh, dudes, and one you test with willpower, the other one you test with, I think, agility was my best bet there. Uh, and I'm low on that, so kind of hoped for a token card. But I'm going to remove the non existence, keep one as your flame. Oh, oh, this is. Not supposed to happen. We'll get there. Oh, I should probably also change this to one investigator. How do you... Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Um... Am I, though? Thinking about keeping Spectral Razor to try and kill the other guy in, ca in case I can't... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. In case I can't pass the test, I'm just gonna kill it with Spectral. Is it elite? It is elite, though. They are elite. So then I might as well just use Ezra Flame. Yeah. I should not have shuffled those back in. Hold up. And I don't remember my other card. Anyway. Oh god. This is going great. I'll get there. Okay. These I do not shuffle in. And then I draw three cards. That goes out. That also goes out. Cool. I got the Spectre Razor anyway, which is which is alright. Promise of power, which is great to pass uh, the one test that I said I don't know if I can pass. And then I have Renfield, which is just great in this scenario because it has <laughs> a cap of, what is it, 19 Doom? Yeah, 19 Doom. Which is amazing. Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, let's flip that. There's one clue. 
Uh, when you leave it, take over for each card in your hand in excess of five. So I want to play some cards. I think I'm going to play Renfield right away and uh, use him. So I want to put a Doom on him and exhaust him to gain a resource for that Doom. Because we do not draw from the encounter deck just yet. So I don't really need the Spectral Razor out yet since I have the Promise of Power. So my first action was playing Renfield. Uh, my second action is probably... I probably want to get set up right now because if I walk in here I'm going to take a damage. Yeah, so I'm thinking... The Pendulum, which will make me draw some cards. Actually, I don't want to draw cards right now. Yeah, the next few locations are going to be like choosing to discard one card from your hand, like this one, which is very annoying. So I'll just uh, lag. I'll just lag. That's fine too. Cool. I will spend an action to draw a card. Uh, sorry, to take a resource. Uh, and then try and get the Ezra Flame out ASAP. I could walk in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to walk in there. Uh, this is... Uh, oh, hello. I need the clue. I should probably investigate. Let's do that first. That sounds like a great idea. I'm going to use my icon and six cents. Uh, so let's see. Uh, oh, it's a trap one. Why am I even using my ability? I'm not going to use it. Ah, oh, well, why not? Fuck it. In case I draw the autofill. So I draw three. And I'm going to take the zero. So I get the clone. That's a great last action. That was probably... I'm a bit nervous because I've never done this before. I am so sorry if I am chaotic. I'm always chaotic anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Anyway. So we did the investigation phase. We're going to go to enemy phase, but there are no enemies. Then we go to the upkeep. Oh, that's a great card to have. Uh, and then after upkeep, we go back to the mythos. And this card says, when Doom is placed in this agenda during the mythos phase, if any investigator is at a steps location, place an additional Doom. I am. So I'm going to place an additional Doom. And uh, here it says, do not draw cards from the encounter deck during the mythos phase. And if an investigator enters the cavern of flame, immediately advance, which is this one. So now I just start my investigation phase. Um, and I think we're just gonna start up straight by walking into the other location. Unless all clues, I have discovered the clues. So I'm gonna flip this over and then we immediately advance. Let's see. Each investigator loses all of their clues. Makes sense. This is gone. That's... There you go. Put the set aside. Yeah, I'm not gonna even pronounce that. But the enemies, I have them here. Uh, which is this guy and that guy. Oh, oh, that's not good. Uh, these are, are at this location right now. I believe they're aloof. Yeah, they are aloof, they have retaliate, you can parlay with them. And here you can test willpower and intellect, and here you can test uh, f fighting, punching, whatever it's called, or agility. Strength, sorry. And we flip them over after we defeat them. Cool. Then we add one skull token to the bag for the remainder of the campaign. I had them here ready, if you want to see my... It has been updated, and I'm gonna add one right now. Should probably also read these at some point. Uh, ah, it's fine. I'll be fine. I'll be just fine. So let's see. My first action was, of course, to move in. My second action is probably to test this first and then that one. I don't think it really matters which I test first. Um, 
I'm gonna go with this one first. I'm going to parlay with him as my second action. Uh, this test gets plus one per investigator difficulty. If you succeed, you flip him over. So it's a test of three. I am up by two, but I do have... Schools are minus three for me now. So I kind of don't really want to... Don't want to draw a skull here. Uh, well, what's the worst that can happen? If I fail, I'll just... Uh, do it again and then take damage. Yeah, it's not that bad at all. So uh, I'm going to use my ability for this. Uh, I am up by two. Or do I? Hold on. If I just play this, it's probably better. Yeah. I want to play things as soon as possible. Hello? Lag. There you go. So, um, I'm gonna play my Crystal Pendulum. I will not use it though, because I do not want to draw the card here just yet. I'm gonna pay two for it. And uh, that way schools are, like, I am up by three and schools are minus twos. So now I'm just gonna test this as my last action and then I'll just take a damage, which is fine. But I'm going to test this as my last action. I am up by three, I believe. Two here, one here. Yeah, up by three. That's my last action. Uh, I will use, because why not? Cool. Uh, I'm gonna take the plus one. So then I flip this. And it says, uh, add this card to the victory display. That's uh, kinda what happens. That was my last action. So I go to enemy phase, which uh, there's no enemies. Well, that's not true. It's aloof though, so it doesn't attack me, so it's fine. And then I have the upkeep phase. Version that's pretty nice. Uh, I did not use David, which is maybe a bit of a shame, but whatever. It's probably fine. I don't really need that much money yet. And then we go to Mythos, and I believe this says at the end of the Mythos phase or later. So I'm still at the steps location. So I gain two doom and I take damage because now it's the end of the Mythos phase. Ah! He has two server. I'm just gonna let him take it. And then I wanna read this real quick. If they're not in play, immediately advance. Okay, cool. So, I go to the investigation phase, and pretty much what I do, what I want to do first is to test that. Um, which is also a test string. I am down by one. Uh, I am going to use Promise of Power. I'm going to commit that to be was down by one. So I will be up by three, and then I want to use my ability to draw three tokens. I do not, I don't, don't think a while. No, I don't want to use Dark Prophecy here yet. I think I'm fine. Schools are minus twos. There is one minus, um, minus three, one minus four, one autofill. I'm up by three, and schools are minus twos, so I'm fine. That is a tablet. I believe that was also minus two. Yep. Oh. So I made this, which I believe also goes to the victory display, and that's it. And then we immediately advance. I'm just thinking real quick, that was my first action, right? Yeah, I just committed that. Yeah. Cool story. So we immediately advance. And then each investigator loses off the clues. I don't have any. Put the set aside 700 steps. 
Let me just look for them. I believe they're here. I believe they're these three. Um, base of the steps and enchanted path locations in play. And then your slumber grows street deeper at another school. We'll be adding, I believe, three in total. All right. Seven on each steps is connected to this guy. Then we have this one. Yep. And we have that one. So, uh, yeah. Where's the indicator? Here it is. Okay. So, as my second action, I gotta remember. I believe that. Uh, I don't think this one is any harm. I think this one also takes. Uh, I think you take horror in excess of cards that you have of three or something. So, uh, I believe. Hello? I'll just lag again, okay? I'll just do that real quick. Cool. Uh, I believe this is the one that uh, is a willpower test. Either way, I'm just gonna move here. I think I'm pretty sure it's safe. Yeah, that's what I thought. Take a horror uh, for each card when you leave it. An excess of one. There's one clue, and I believe you can't enter. Nope, you can't enter the base of the steps unless all the clues of the seven hundred steps have been discovered. So I'm gonna discover this clue. As my second action, I moved. As my third action, I think I'm just gonna go for the clue. With six cents. Uh, nah, it's. I'm up by three, four, five. Up by five. That's, yeah. I was uh, definitely fine there. I do wanna use Renfield real quick. Uh, I wanna put another Doom on him. And gain two resources because why not? I always get so rich in this scenario if I have Renfield early. It's actually insane. It's kind of the only reason I want to play Mystic in in this campaign because in the first scenario I get so rich. Either way, we go to the enemy phase. There is no enemies, so we go to the upkeep phase. Ooh, ritual candles. Oh, ritual candles here is so good. Really love ritual candles. Um, definitely gonna play that next. Yeah, so then we go to the mythos. I am still in a steps location, so I gain two doom. Doom is going a little fast, but it is okay. I'd rather take it slow now. Make sure that I have everything I need uh, to enter the next location and deal with that. So yeah, we don't draw a Mythos card, uh, so we just uh, continue. Uh, yeah, as my first action, I'll just move there then. I think this is the willpower test, pretty sure. Yeah. If you have at least one card in your hand, of course I do. This is the number of cards in your hand after committing cards to this test. If you feel which card in your hand, you must either take a horror or discard that card. Okay, cool. So it's, uh, sorry, what? It's test five for me now. What are? Oh, I had. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. That makes sense. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, yeah. When you leave it, I take a horror for each card in your hand, excess of three, uh, which is two. And uh, you will know what. I, I think I'll just take that to the nose. Yeah, because there's not a lot of. I can pass most willpower things. I'll be fine. I'll just take it to the nose. Yeah. Uh, now I need to test this, which is a uh, test five. Uh, I think I'm going to commit pressure to it. I do not have. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, let me think about this. Uh, I'll just uh, do dark prophecy and hope for a. Um, this is an enchanted wood now. 
These are enchanted participations. And I hope for uh, a occultist. That's pretty much what I want. How many cultists is there in the back? Oh. There's only one. I think I can draw that? I think I can draw that. Hell yeah. Because... So if this says, this says, right, the number of cards in your hand after committing cards to this test, which is, if I play Dark Prophecy, it's not committing, so it's still a test of five if I play Dark Prophecy. That sounds like that makes sense. Uh, which means I am up by two, so I can, I can pass that. Um, and this one is half the number of cards, so I make it... If I play Dark Prophecy, I make it uh, a minus two as well. So I'll be I'll be perfectly fine. I'm gonna use Dark Prophecy. And I'll just reveal five. Do I wanna reveal more? And don't think so, because everything is minus two here. So just hope for what I call a bullshit token. And uh, because with this one, I gotta take two as well. If I draw the uh, autofill. So I'm just gonna go it like this, the Dark Prophecy, and hope for a bullshit token. There it is. I'm gonna take the Cultist because that's a zero. And I pass, nothing happens. So that was my first action. Uh, my second action is going to be to investigate here, probably. Uh, I want to make sure that I get out of the steps location soon, and then I'll just play whatever I need to play. Ritual candles, as your flame, but this. Uh, uh, yes, correct. I should pay for dark prophecy. I am so sorry. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have to chat open here. People are helping me. That's great. So um, I'm going to investigate there. This is location of three. I am up by two, three, four if I use six cents, which I am going to use and I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, sure, I'll use my ability because why not? And there you have it. I'm gonna choose zero. I gained a clue. And that was my second action. And my third action, uh, I believe nothing happens. Pretty sure nothing happens once I enter here. We just spawn new location. Uh, so that's going to be my third action. <laughs> Yay, clue! Yeah, clue indeed! <laughs> so, I reveal this location. I believe we advance here. If each investigator is at the enchanted path, immediately advance. Cool. I am each investigator, so let's go. Each investigator loses all of their clues. Okay, cool story. That was obvious. Then... Your slumber grows deeper at one, uh, whatever it's called, skeleton, I forgot the name. Uh, token to the chaos back, skull token, wow. To the chaos back for the remainder of the uh, campaign, remove each steps location from the game. So these are gone, and so are these. And... Randomly choose six of the set aside enchanted woods location to put into play. Remove the other copy from the game. Here I, oh. Here I have the seven. I'm gonna shuffle those. <laughs> yes, add one scully to the fuck you pack. That is, that is how that works. So I'm going to be added, adding six. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is easiest. Yeah. And this is removed from the game. Oh, I'm not allowed to see that. Cool. Then, we shuffle off the remaining set aside scenario cards except, except for the laboring go. go blah, blah, blah. And Randolph Carter. Uh, to the encounter, to form the encounter deck, which is this, 
Uh, here I have indeed Randolph Carter and uh, Laboring Gug. So I'm going to shuffle this. I'm going to put this into Encounter Deck. We finally play with the Encounter Deck. Anyway, I um, I think I'm done here. Yeah. Uh, I want to use David real quick. I am going to add another Doom. Gain three money. It was on four, yeah, that makes sense. And uh, yeah. Then we do enemy phase. Oh, enemy phase, there is no enemies. We do upkeep phase. And we go for Mythos. So we do draw encounter cards now. Uh, the objective here is only investigators at the Chanted Path may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Uh, which is five clues for me. Uh, but of course I'm gonna go for all VP. Then when Doom is placed uh, during the Mythos phase, if any investigator is at a steps location, I am not anymore. So I only place one Doom now. And I will draw an encounter card. That's not how you draw encounter cards. Okay. Here we go. So I test willpower 5. For each point of fill by, take a horde to a maximum of 3. Um... I am up by two. Let's see. Do I want to... I would really love a premonition here. You know what what means? Alt F4. No! Fuck you. <laughs> Alt f 4 What the fuck? <laughs> All my progress. <laughs> Um, do I want to commit too much to it? I can just kill off David. I am up by two. Worst case scenario, I take a war. Uh, I don't want to commit too much to this. Schools are minus threes. <sighs> I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> So I take two horror. Do I want to just kill of David? Uh, oh, do I just want to kill of David? Take one horror myself. I have so much money. Should have probably used it. <laughs> <laughs> Chat is going insane. Um, yeah. Uh, what David did was he gave me money uh, in exchange for Doom. So I'm I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, the thing is, I'm also recording this. I'm just gonna check real quick. Yes, I am also recording this. I need to record it so that okay. Fuck. Yeah, I take two horror. You know what? Fuck you, David. And I will take one myself. And this is gone. This is fine. I'm okay with this. Uh, I did not expect to draw a minus four whatsoever. But hey. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm laughing at the chat. I am so sorry. I should probably see if I, I should have probably seen if I could have added the chat to the screen, then at least. Anyways, let's go. My first action, I'm gonna play some shit now because now I don't gain two doom all, all of a sudden all the time. My first action is going to be to play Azure Flame. Yes, I did, but... I'll be fine, it's fine. I'm gonna use uh, Ritual Candles for uh, my second ability. My second action, sorry. I'm gonna play it and I think, I don't wanna walk into a, a, a location I don't know. 
It's my last action. So I think I'm just gonna draw a card. <laughs> oh my god um yeah last section yeah i'll just draw a card fuck it oh the night existence that would have been nice to have had last time uh anyway <laughs> that was my last section uh so we go to enemy phase there is no enemy phase. We go to upkeep. Oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. So I cannot cancel or ignore uh, what I call bullshit tokens. Also, I do not think the video will be muted of copyright music. It does not matter. I Oh, maybe, maybe on YouTube, but then I'll fix it. Yes to both, also the full language. I don't care. Anyway, Meatles phase. I gain a Doom. And we draw a card. Oh, hello. Oh, this is damage. This I need to be careful for. Oh, and now I drew Dark Preacher. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. It's a willpower 5 test for each point you fill by. Take a damage, a maximum of 3 for the purposes of counting icons committed to the skill test. I can commit anything but willpower and question mark. Uh, count as two matching icons. Uh, <laughs> well, I do have a deny existence, so worse comes to worse, if I draw an autofill, I do not care. Uh, everything, all the bullshit tokens are, I get plus one, two, um, and I schools are minus two by default. Honestly, I'm not worried about this because I am up by one because of the crystal pendulum and Let's say like this one gives me a plus one as well uh, So anything here I pass I don't want to use prescient unless I have a scrying mirror or premonition, uh, because then I can take spells back, uh, including the night existence. So, honestly, I think I'm fine, because at a certain point, yeah, the cultists are gonna be insane. So I kind of want to use my defiance for if I premonition or uh, use my mirror on a cultist, and then I can defiance the cultist. In case I need to. So I'm just going to go with it. I'm up by one. I have six health. I'll be fine. See? I'm okay. I drew a plus one. Everything's fine. Nothing happened. And now the investigation phase starts. I am going to walk into one of these locations. And hope I don't spawn a giant gog in my face. So, I'll just go there, apparently. Fuck! <laughs> this is insane! How does this always happen? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, how does this happen? <laughs> This always happens to me. This is why I don't go into locations. <laughs> Unless it's my first action. This is why. Okay, so I have this guy in my face. Uh, let's see what I can do with this. As Hunter, this one. Uh, I am equal. Schools give me up by one pendulum. Oh, I'm up by one. I'm up by one. I'm up by one. I also have a spectral razor, but it is an elite enemy. No, it's not. Oh. Oh. Thought it was elite. It is not elite. I am going to spectral razor, dad. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna deny existence to damage. This is fine. It's probably best case. I was ready for this. So I'm gonna. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use Spectral Razor. 
I will not use my ability because this will fuck me over and I do not want that. There's only one location revealed. So schools are minus two. Uh, I am, let's see, to my skill value. So I add two, I'm up by three because of, uh, because of the pendulum. I do not want to draw a card. This is why I should have taken uh, the other thing. Ro the, the, the praying chick. I forgot how she's called. Holy Rosary. Okay, cool. I'm up by three. I have deny existence. Uh, do not draw the minus uh, the minus four to out of field and I'm fine. That is a school, so it takes three damage. That was my second action. And as my third action, I am going to use Azure Flame. And let's see. It attacks, uses willpower instead of punching. Uh, I am equal here. I'm up by one here. I am going to use Defiance there and ignore the tablet because now the schools and the enchant and the cultists are minus ones. So I'm going to ignore the tablet. Uh, sorry, this is not a tablet. Yeah, it is a tablet. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm up by two, and I ignore tablets. Nice. It is dead. This was probably best case scenario, to be fair. Because now I'm just free to uh, investigate the rest. Cool. I get more PP. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty awesome. Okay, that's cool. At the end of uh, my turn, I reveal five random tokens. Oh, lag. Lag. Cool. Uh, this one says reveal two additional tokens. I am going to use my ability on this and I'm going to be revealing uh, seven tokens in total to see if we get the Elder Sun. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. That is sad as fuck. But hey, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, that's just sad. But hey, whatever. This is fine. This is fine. I'm okay with this. Um, we go to the enemy phase. There is none. We go to the upkeep phase. Nice. I can get my uh, yeah, my spectral razor back. That's amazing. Uh, cool story. Anyway, nothing else happens here, right? So we go to the Mythos phase, we gain a Doom, and we draw an encounter card. Oh, no! You cannot commit cards to skill test with an odd number of total. Mew! Well, red prescient, I guess. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, that's not where my hand is. So I can't commit cards to skill this with an odd number of total skill icons. So I cannot commit this. That is... Okay. You want me to draw connection lines? Sure, I can do that. Uh, you want me to actually just draw lines? Probably can do that. Meh. This is all connected. For now. Then we'll see what happens. So yeah, that was the mythos. So we go to the investigation phase. Um, I'm just gonna investigate here. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's just one. Well, I do have six. No, I'm just gonna investigate here. Fuck that. Um, I'll just do that. Yeah. Why not? Uh, let's see, I'm up by everything but autofill, really, so this is a minus two. So, oh, 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 one button. I gained a clue. That was my first action. My second action is to move back up. That location has been cleared, and my third action is to play the scrying mirror for three. I am fully set up now. I am so happy about that. Just gotta get rid of this now. have things with two icons I don't that's not true I have uh, I have not a dark prophecy that is four icons it needs to have an even number yeah think I'm fine 
Anyway. Um, yeah, that was my last action to play the thingy. So we go back to the enemy phase. There is none. We go to the upkeep. I'm sorry, at the end of the round I do Dark Future, which I'm gonna use this again. Promise of Power, what did I say? Oh, that's auto kill. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, that's unlucky. But upkeep, I do this again. And then uh, we go to Mythos. Uh, I have nine rounds left. Should be fine unless I get really unlucky with drawing monster or enemies now. Zoogs. Grip chill. That's fine. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I am gonna use the scrying mirror here because I want to draw a card for pendulum. I want to get rid of this ASAP really. So I'm going to use this. Um. I use a charge and I perform the test before committing. Is that how that works? Is this is after skill test that your location begins? Can I use this after I commit? After I use this? Because it's temporarily. Is that how it works? Help? That's not how that works. Okay, yeah, that's uh. Then I don't want to use this. I'll just put that back. Uh, I'm up by one. I am up by two, and schools are minus twos. Everything else is minus two. Worst case scenario, I discard an asset. Does this one discard card from hand? This is not against discarding assets. Do I want to discard assets? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. You gotta announce the number before you draw the token. Uh, that's that's what I thought. But if I do premonition, it does work, right? With premonition, it should work, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna use dark prophecy on this, I think, because everything is minus twos. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use Dark Prophecy on this. So I draw... How many tokens? Five tokens. And if I just draw a school or, or a cultist, I'm, I'm safe. Minus four. Hey, I draw a card. That's a... That's a school. So uh, this is gone because schools are minus twos. Uh, and I was up by two because I'm up by one here and up by one here. So that's two. And and this gives me plus one, so I succeed by uh, 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 three, I think. I don't draw a card. Oh, I cannot cancel. Oh, right. Does that mean I gotta take all of them? Oh, I think I might have fucked up. <laughs> okay, cool. So I gotta discard something. Um, let's see. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I fucked up there. Oh my gosh. Oh well, whatever. Um, the scrying mirror, I think. Then. Yeah, I think. I think. Oh, that's such a shame. My scrying mirror. Just got it. I should have. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, can this chill? Can this chill the fuck out? There you go. Ah oh, well. Rip scrying mirror. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna just uh, whoop to do to another location. I think for section. Uh, I'll go uh, there. 
As an additional cost for you to leave this location, you must choose and discard one card from your hand for each clue on this location. That's fine, I won't leave this location, I think. Um, because this makes me be up by two, which is consistent enough to get clues here. I'll be perfectly fine. There's only one clue here. So I'm just gonna investigate as my second action being up by two. Uh, I cannot commit anything. Uh, oh, that's uh, I can't cancel and ignore. This is just an elder sign. So plus one. So I pass. Ah! So I gain a clue. And... Yeah, and, uh, I think that's my last action. I will... Uh, this says... Discard a card from your hand for each clue on this location. Which is none. So if I move, I am fine. That was my investigation phase. So we go to Amethy's phase. There is none. I'm so sorry, at the end of my turn I gotta discard, I gotta do the dark future thing. So I'm gonna be drawing seven tokens again. A two additional one, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god! Can you chill? Cool. Then we do the enemy phase, there is none. We do the upkeep phase. Uh, one of the fines that I can't commit. Good story. And then we do the methos phase. We go to 11 out of 19. And we draw an encounter card. Which is Obscuring Frog. That is... Uh, I'm okay with this. <laughs> no problem there at all. I'm just gonna... Try and... Don't be a dick about this. Don't. Good enough. Yeah, obscuring frog. I don't care what you say. So yeah, uh, now we go. Lag. Okay, cool. Uh, I might just go there then. Uh, after you enter this location, you must either take two horror or lose all of your mana. That's fine, I'll take two horror. I'm okay with that. And then five or four left. Yeah, whatever. Actually, cannot commit cards, but I can play this. Uh, an encounter card or enemy attack. Never mind. Rip. I'll just take the two armor. It's fine. Uh, yeah. There is a clue here. It's a three shout location. Uh, I, I don't care. I'm just gonna investigate. My first action was moving. My second action is investigating. I am up by two by default. This makes me go up by three, which should be more than enough. Uh, schools are minus two. That is a tablet, which I believe is minus two. And this one gives me plus one on it. Ah. So uh, I get the clue. And as my last action, I will move back. And then we're just gonna repeat this for the rest of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just my life now. Uh, so yeah, then we do enemy phase. Oh. There is none, upkeep, and mythos. That's nice, that's really nice. A mythos phase. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I was supposed to do this again. I always forget. I'm gonna use my ability for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, none. You know what, I gave up on it. I, g I just gave up on it. Then this goes back into the upkeep phase, because this was supposed to be done at the end of my turn. I'm really sorry, I always forget. And now we do Mythos. So we add Doom, 12 out of 19, and and there it is. Any connecting location. Oh, this is the most annoying. This one, whenever you do access damage, you just, it just fucks off to another location. And it has swarming too. Rip cards. One, two, three. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm sorry. Where does this spawn? Any connecting location. Um, it does. Oh, it does hunt. It has swarming too. I probably want to kill this ASAP. 
Yeah, I want to kill this ASAP. Um, that's true. Connections between... Okay, let's see. This is not connected to this. This is connected to... No, it's not. They are not connect. No? This is connected to that. And this is connected to that. So I'm going to swap these around. And draw a line between them. Am I correct? Because this is a yellow thing on the bottom, this is a yellow thing on top, this is a star on the bottom, this is a star on top. So these two are connected. Uh, I want to kill this right now. I can spawn it at any connecting location. Um, oh, let's see. Yeah, I just want to hit it. Move it to a connecting location. So I'm just gonna move, hit it, move to his location because he's exhausted anyway, then he's not gonna hit me. Then I'm gonna, next turn I'm gonna hit it, he's gonna move, I'm gonna move, hit it. Yeah, I, th I think that's the best, um, best case. Let's see how that goes. I do really wanna kill this. Still have a few rounds left. This is the most annoying thing. If it was anything else, I wouldn't have cared. But I do very much care about this one. This one is just bane of my existence. This is worse than the gog here. So cool. Uh, now we go back to the investigation phase. I'm going to do what I just said I would do. I'm going to move here. This engages me. Uh, I'm just going to leave it here. Or just do this. These cards are the swarming. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna hit it. And I'm gonna hit it with the Azure Flame. Because that's uh, all I can do. Then I don't have any more combat options later. But at least it gets exhausted. It gives me some time. Um. <clears throat> you know what? Uh, you know what? Let's rewind this for a second. Instead of spawning it here, I think I want to spawn it at an unknown location. I'm actually sure, pretty sure I want to do that. Because the worst that could happen right now, this is already out. Which one is it? That piece of shit. So the worst that could happen right now is actually that I place a doom here and then I can still attack it and then move out move in attack and move out so I'm gonna move this here instead oh my god yeah cool cool sorry this is swarming <laughs> uh, then I am going to walk here as my first action If you're investigation and gets plus one shot for each card in your hand. Oh, that's shitty. But this is fine, you know? At least I can start getting clues here. Um, then this engages me. This whole pile of shit. Engages me. Uh, this is the two swarming. Uh, I am going to hit it with the Azure Flame. So I am up by... Three, four, not by four. Yeah, uh, this is a minus three. Oh, uh, so one of the swarming cards goes on the bottom of my deck. And then he, what does he do? Cancel all excess damage and move any of its remaining swarm host cards to connecting location exhausted. So he's just gonna go back here and he's just gonna exhaust. Yeah, and then I'm gonna go back and then hit it, move it somewhere else. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I can deal with this. So my second action was hitting it. Uh, my third action is going to be to investigate here. Um, do I really want to do that? One, two, three, four, five. That is... That is not gonna happen. That is what I'm gonna tell you. This is... Uh, I'm just gonna try and uh, swoop it up with six cents later, I think. Because this is up to two connections away. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna um, walk back. 
Uh, you may choose a reveal location connected to your location. Oh no. No, I can't do that. Um, this is not two connections away. That's the upgraded one that I'm thinking about. Okay. Does this have any connections? This does, but that is that one. And green. So I'm going to put this here. This connected to that. Yeah. I can't take that one. Whatever. Anyway, uh yeah, this is connected to this. Yeah. Cool. I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh investigation phase is over. We have the enemy phase right now. Nothing happens. He is exhausted. Then we have the upkeep phase. So, and this guy engages me again, which is okay. I'll just hit it again, and then I'll just let it follow me. Yeah. It has a. This is its form card. Uh, then we go to the methyl's phase. Draw a card. Reduced by three. I believe the answer is at eight. So then I can have only five cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, this is not that bad. At least I get to, disc <laughs> to discard some cards. This is not that bad at all. I do not have double icons here. Oh my gosh. Only 15 cards left. Anyways. This is fine. I don't even think I need to discard this. Let's check after each slime so not now. Okay, cool. Uh, I am going to hit this. It doesn't have retaliate even. So I'm just going to hit this uh, as my first action. Because we are in the infested. Did I add doom? I did not add doom yet. I am so sorry. Lag. There you go. And I'm going to just leave this be, whatever. First action is hitting this with the Ezra Flame. Oh. Uh, I am uh, again up by uh, three here, four there, and I'll be fine. Plus one. Oh shit. Oh no, I took damage. That's fine. So this goes to the bottom of my deck. And this guy goes there, exhausted, I decided. I'll deal with this later. Uh, I still have a few rounds. I can probably handle it. So my second action is going to be moving there. I'm just gonna kill it next. The woods. When your turn begins, if you're at this location, reveal a random token from the chaos bag. If you reveal a bullshit token, take one damage and lose an action. Okay, so I want to get out of here ASAP. I can't commit shit. Oh my lord. I am. This, this is fucking me over. Okay. This is also fucking me over. <laughs> Can this game chill? Um. Do I just want to move out of here? Take a damage and lose an action. I can prevent the action loss with deny existence. To damage, I don't mind too much because then I have four health left. I'll be fine. Um, but do I really want to do that? That's not a question. Uh, I think I do. <laughs> because right now I'm up by one. I can't commit anything. I gotta draw some cards. Um, I think I'm gonna move out as my last action and hopefully, hopefully either get rid of this or draw promises, uh, promise of power. That was uh, it. So at the end of the round, uh, sorry, at the end of my turn, I reveal five tokens, gonna use this to reveal seven. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Please, no! <laughs> I'm so sad. Uh, yeah, and then, uh, then, the, then the enemy phase, uh, nothing happens, he is exhausted. In the upkeep phase, he readies. And I do upkeep. Then this one says, uh, your maximum hand size is reduced by three. And it's checked after each time you draw one or more cards. I get to discard some cards now, which is nice. Um, I have three, six, seven. So I need to have five. I'm going to discard Prescient, Crystal Pendulum, and Defiance. So I cannot commit them anyway. Oh, wait. I need to have five. I'll keep Defiance then. That's not where that goes. They don't go in the trash. So now I have five cards. Um, let me see what I want to do here. Okay, we, we just go to uh, Mythos phase now. We had a Doom, we're at 14 out of 19. I do have the five clues. No, I don't even have the five clues. Huh? One, two, three. All oh, right, yeah. And then I draw a counter card. Oh, it's this one again. It's not that bad. Worst case scenario, I'll just... Hey, I can discard this. That would be great. Do I really want to discard my Spectral Razor or if I have one stack of my Azure Flame? Um, don't know yet. I'm just gonna go with this. In worst case scenario, I, I just use my Deny Existence. I am up by one here. That is a minus three, so I do take a horror. I do not want that horror whatsoever. I already took way too much horror, so this... I will deny existence. Uh, and as my first action, I am going to move up here. Is this a doom one? If you do not leave this location before the end of the round, place one doom on a country agenda. Yeah, I do not want that. Um, that is a four location. I'm up by two. I feel good about this. I'm gonna have six cents here. Oh, skills are minus threes though. Lag. Okay. I am wasting time. Schools are minus threes. Schools are minus threes. Uh, I cannot commit anything. What am I saying? Schools are minus two. Hello, I have four cards? I'm gonna do it. Gonna use six cents. This is four. I'm up by one here. Up by one there. That's a tablet, which is a minus two. So ritual candles. I am fine. I draw. I got the clue. And as my third action, I am going to move down. Yeah. That was okay. Now I have not yet the requisite clues, but I will soon. I think, depending on what happens. Oh, this is gonna hit me. Oh, Mew. This is not connected to anything. This is gonna hit me. At least I can kill it. This is gonna hit me. Do I wanna move back? Yes, I do. I don't want that doom. I'll just take the hit. It's a lot better. Um, yeah, so then we go to the enemy phase. This is going... I'm so sorry. Before we do that, my turn ends. I wanna... I gotta test Dark Future with seven icons. There it is! Five, six, seven. Finally! Oh my gosh! Then we do enemy phase. This engages me and attacks me because of its hunter keyword that I can handle, probably. Uh, then we go to upkeep, my ritual candles. And then uh, we go to mythos. We are on f uh, I have four rounds left. Well, three rounds. Uh, 
Um, I think I can make these. Just gotta get rid of that. Let's see. Do I have five cards in my hand? Let's see what happens. Uh, swarming one. Looks like I'll be dealing with some enemies this round. Um, which is a shame because I gotta use my Spectral Razor on this, so I can't get rid of this yet again. I do need a few commits. And again, this guy says... Plus one shot for each card in your hand, so then it will be four immune. Okay, anyway, we'll just uh, see what we can do. We go to the investigation phase. First of all, I want to Azure Flame this little shit. Yeah, definitely. So that, that was my last charge. I am up by three, four, up by four. That is a minus two. So this one is finally dead. Then I'm going to Spectral Razor this guy, which is not elite, no. Uh, I deal it three damage, but I only need two. And it has retaliate, so I do have to be a little bit careful. And that is why I'm going to use this. Uh, let's see. I am up by two, three, and I add two because of my fighting, so I'm up by five. That is a minus two. So this goes on the bottom of my deck. And this is gone. That was my second action. And as my last action, I think I want to move. Um, damage was an action. I don't think I want to move. I'm going to draw a card to try and get rid of... Uh, what did I do? I felt that, I felt that. Yeah. I'm going to draw a card and see if I can get rid of that. Yes! Yes! Then again, this is my only combat card. We'll see what happens during the mythos. So, enemy phase, there are none. Upkeep. Nice! This helps a lot. So now I gotta discard down because of uh, deeper slumber. Gotta discard down to five. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of ritual candles. Lag. There you go. Then uh, we go to the Mythos phase. I have <laughs> two rounds left. I'll make this. I can make this work. Just don't give me an enemy. That's all I'm asking. This is not an enemy. Um, if you fail and there are no such enemies in place, search the encounter deck and discover for a zoo enemy, draw it and shuffle the encounter deck. I do not want this. So I'm just gonna do this and pray for an elder sign. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Hello? I have a ward in my hand. I'm gonna use the ward. I'm gonna take a ward. And this is just a uh, nope. That's just nope. Fuck that card. Okay, cool. So first action, I'm going to discard this to discard this. Second action, I'm going to move there. Third action, I'm going to investigate there. Uh, this is location four now. I'm up by one, I'm up by two. Uh, I'm going to use my thingy and I'm gonna use defiance to defiance the cultist. That is a minus two. So I pass, oh wait, I draw, I'm so sorry, I draw three, so I'm gonna draw two more. That's, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the tablet. I can uh, get a clue at a connecting location, but these are not connected. Disconnected to that, though. Uh, I'm just gonna fix that real quick. This is not connected to anything. This is connected to this. Somewhere it's probably important. Uh, anyway, <coughs> I take the clue. 
Then I have Storm of Spirits in case something shit happens. But we are done with our investigation phase. We are gonna go into our enemy phase. There are none. Fuck those enemies. Then upkeep. Fuck. <laughs> Meow! Oh lord. Can you please chill the fuck out? Okay. Then we go to the meatless phase. We have one round left. Uh, I'm gonna do something really weird. I'm going to investigate here soon and just try and get this this one with... Hello? This one with six cents. That's what I'm gonna try and do. And if that doesn't work, I'm just out. Because right now I go to 18. Yeah. Right now I go to 18. <sighs> oh, this game surge. Am I the enchanted? Yeah, I am. Uh, this game surge as well. Well, so be it. I can't really help it. Um, let's see. The fills must lose in action and take a horror. Okay. 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 Um, I'm up by two. Up by three. Up by three. And I feel ties. Do I want to use my thing here? Or am I just going to live on the edge? I'm going to live on the edge. Oh, minus two, thank god! <laughs> Gain surge. Oh, whoops. Oh. Yeah, this kind of fucked me over. Okay. Plus one shot action if you successfully investigate. Does this is uh, this is not taking action, does it? I'm still gonna try. I'm just gonna move down. That's my first action. Second action is going to be to investigate here. Uh, with six cents. And I'm gonna try and get rid of the prismatic phenomenon. Uh, so I'm just gonna do that. And, uh, oh shit, this is a four. It's my last. Hello? Lag? It's my last thing, so I'm just gonna commit Storm of Spirits. Because this is a four location. Then I am up by one here, two there, uh, and schools are zeros. Uh, I do feel tied, so I'm just gonna pray. Oh my god, that's a zero. Okay, okay. This is gone. Then, this is gone. I'm going to investigate one more time as my last action. I'm going to use this. Uh, I am... This is a location two. I'm up by three here, four there. I do feel ties. And I'm going to try and get a bullshit token. A skull! Yes! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Um, I'm going to pick the skull. Uh, the skulls are zeros because I have no cards in my hand. Six Sense says, uh, If a bullshit token symbol is revealed during this test, you may choose a revealed location connected to your location. You are now investigating as if you were at a chosen location instead of your location. You may use either shroud value. I'm going to take this clue. And use the shroud value of two. Doesn't matter either way, actually. Because I was, uh, yeah. And then I'm going to be spending five clues in order to advance. Because you gotta be here, right? Yeah. In order to advance. <sighs> okay. Step back and watch this surreal scene play out. Or interrupt this guard cat and handle this yourself. Um... I honestly forgot what this is about. Um, I'm just gonna read it real quick. Uh, as you near the edge of the wood, more of the rodent-like creatures emerge, swarming out of the 
of burrows and honeycomb trees. Soon the whole forest is alive with them. They surround you and chitter in a language you somehow understand. In true, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> um, they surround you and chitter in a language you somehow understand. Intruders. They are with the cats. New dreamers. No, they're followed the black cat. <laughs> but the black cat is not here. Where many, they are few. Several of them amid low growls as they begin to close in. Just then you hear a human voice call out. What is the meaning of all this? The owner of his voice is a blonde young man with the- Oh right, that's the uh, Rando. He's flanked by a pack of angry cats, each whom falls into step beside him. Save for one scarred old cat who takes the lead. You realize that the man speaks not to you, but to the creatures all around you, who slink backward and they are scolded. Then, to your ever-growing surprise, the scarred cat speaks. Your tribute is late. Uh... <laughs> I think I'm just gonna step back. I don't remember what it does. Oh. Oh. Is this- is this where it ends? Can I- can I go now? Can I- do I have to choose this now? Can I choose this later? Because I do not remember what it does. <laughs> I did not go that far as my testing. I did not. Why am I allowed to go? Yeah, I think this is it. Um, yeah, choose later. Okay, cool. So uh, this is uh, this is this is it. I got I got all of them. So that's amazing. Uh, yeah, because here I got this guy, and uh, and I'm gonna I'm just uh, I'm gonna just go off. Thank you, thank you everybody for watching. See ya.